You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and this is a box from Goldspot and I, I gotta get in here because this has a pen that I was very excited to purchase. I actually bought it on a stream. If you uh, are not watching Twitch streams, you know, maybe do that. I'm on during the middle of the day, so that'll be good for some folks and terrible for the rest. But I'm uh, usually streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays over on Twitch. You can find a link in the description below. Sometimes I order stuff live online because that's when things drop, and uh, this is one of those times. So well, let's get in here. All right, first up, fun little witch sticker. That's cute, writing on a Retro 51 fountain pen, it looks like. How about that? Neat. Uh, next up, uh, this. This will be the main event. Let me open this up here in just a little bit. This is the Retro 51 Gold Spot exclusive Fright Night Tornado by Retro 51. Uh, is this a number? Yeah, number 111. That's pleasing. I like that. We'll get into this in just a minute. This spooky, scary pen. Can't wait for that one. Uh, then uh, I, I had one of these in my cart, and I was really wanting to hit free shipping, and the ink I wanted to buy was not uh, available because it had gone out of stock. And I was like, I want to try this thing out. So this is by Etoya. This is the Profolio Midtown Pouch Pochette. Uh, this was... Um, $8.99, so not very expensive. It's kind of a felty sort of material, actually. Heavier than I thought it would be, and actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Could I have looked at uh, specs? Yes, I could. But did I? Absolutely not. So, uh, I saw a blue and orange pencil pen case situation, and I was like, I need that. Okay, so what we have here is two sides, which I didn't really know it was going to go on in here. So two sides here, and then sort of a skinny middle bit. You're not going to put very much in here. Maybe you would fit your... Um, I, I think what would go in here really well are things like mechanical pencil lead refills. You know, those are like thin boxes will go in there, or, you know, similarly small things. You don't really care about getting out because this won't be like a perfect seal or anything when it's closed. But uh, yeah, that could be pretty cool. Maybe some index cards, throw those in there just to sort of keep them, keep them handy. Uh, I could throw in uh, like... Uh, like some post-its, those would totally fit in there. Yeah, all right, this is a pretty handy little gadget. And then on this side, I don't know, I'd probably throw things in here like uh, whiteboard markers, maybe? I got these uh, Pentel Marathon pumps, throw those in there. Yeah, that's, wow, it really, it will swallow a lot of these things, which is pretty good because I do actually have um, a lot of smallish things like that that can just like go in there uh, and pretty easily. So yeah, that'd actually be a really good place for my uh, markers and uh, like spare highlighters and that sort of thing that aren't already in pencil cups. Yeah, this will be interesting. I do like the felty material. I think it's very nice. You can see there, it's kind of a thick felt. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, for your fountain pens, probably not. They'd be bumping around in there, but uh, for other stuff, really good. Oh, I like this little pull tab too. This actually makes it real easy to open and close. This is a good zipper. This is a surprisingly good zipper, actually. Does it have a, does it have a brand on it? Nope, no brand that I can see, but the uh, Toya Profolio Midtown, yeah, larger than I thought, kind of the size of a clutch purse, really. I mean, you are familiar with those. It's about that size, actually. So yeah, fairly, fairly large, but pretty good, pretty good. All right, uh, next up, I grabbed another one of these because uh, I've only had one ever, and I like it quite a bit. So this is a Twisby Go. This is my previous Twisby Go that I got right when they came out, I don't know, years and years and years ago. Uh, but it's a very handy pen with a nice filling system, and these are really inexpensive. It was like $18.99 is what it says here on my transcript. Uh, let me see. I got a medium here. Let's get this open. It's a different box than they have for all the rest of the stuff. But 19 bucks for this pen is very good price, I think. Does not come with all the gadgets and such that you get with the other pens, like the Ecos and things like that, where you get wrenches and oil and all that jazz. Uh, has very simple instructions here. Take off the back, squoosh the thing, unsquoosh the thing, put the back back on. Easy peasy. Got a little piece of foam on here to sort of keep it in place in the box. And there you go. That's the Twisby Go. So it is kind of a weird looking pen. I think I like the full clear model more than I like the look of the black model. 
the, I don't know, they probably call it smoke or something like that. It does have a lanyard here in case you want to uh, put a string on it to pull it out of your bag or out of your pocket or something like that. I've never used that, obviously, but you totally could. So opening this up, you have the same number five style nib that you have in like the Eco and things like that. Actually, is that a little bit skinnier? No, no, it looks the same. Okay, cool. Uh, you have the same number five nib. It just like looks skinny compared to the big fat, uh, like, you know, very, very wide body on this thing. Um, same feed. This, unlike the Eco, be careful with this. It does have a keyed feed in here, which means you can see there's a little bump right there. You can only put this feed in one way and have it completely uh, seated. And if you don't have it completely seated, it will just leak ink out of the front. Uh, you don't really want that. You do want to be careful with these, pulling the uh, the feed out. This one had no problems at all, but my previous one, uh, the feed, like the little fins broke off. Uh, and I'd never had that happen before, but it only ever happened with this pen. Well, and one like really super cheap pen had that. But you can actually see, I think, in here, yeah, right there, where that step is. So you just want to insert it thusly. It'll be good to go. It's very easy to do, but um, if you mess it up, you will have ink falling out of your nib. And then this just kind of, there we go. Yeah, very, it's a very pleasing, pleasing mechanism. I don't know what it is about this. It's not like it's complicated or anything. And you can take this apart, by the way. You just kind of move this up and you can unscrew the top here. It's not too, it's not super complicated or anything, but uh, this is a very pleasing mechanism to use. Like you ever just want to squinch some ink up into a thing. Just very good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this for uh, 19 bucks. Glad I grabbed another one. Another great thing to throw in the cart when you're trying to reach that uh, that free shipping tier of your order. So yeah, check out the Twisby Go. It's a really uh, really interesting little pen. It's a nice plastic box actually. That's a that's a good box. Right. Okay, let's get into this. So I was pretty excited about this when I saw it. I was like, yeah, I'll get it in a little bit. And then Audrey messaged me and she was like, Did you see what we got? Or uh, what what dropped? Oh, let's let's get the sound. This one's tearing off nicely. Yeah, that's I like that. The last one I got just like tore off all catty wumpus and I was dissatisfied. All right. Yeah, get off me. All right, Fright Night. Let's see what we have going on in here. There's your usual Retro 51 paperwork up in the top of the uh, the tube there. This can also double as a pen stand. If you want to keep it at your desk, you can do that. I don't usually, but you totally could. And this is the pen. This is a limited edition, limited run of 500 pens. I really like when they have a dark lacquer over the top. You can read the numbers very nicely. It really pops there. Uh, this is a gorgeous pen. Look at the pops of orange on this thing. The metallic orange on there is really good. The black is super dark and the white is very striking. Now all those white lines will glow in the dark uh, I'm gonna, I'll let it this charge up and I'll take some video to like pop up over here. So you'll be seeing this glow in the dark, but as a person with, uh, lots of black and white animals and black cats and such glow in the dark, black cats, very me, the orange pops there, very me. And also this finial is kind of what sold me on it originally. I was like, yeah, look at that spider. That's a good orange spider. I dig it. A good finial will sell a pen for me, uh, especially one of these retros. I really like these guys. Uh, this has the rollerball refill, which I will probably swap out for some sort of ballpoint just because I prefer a ballpoint in these pens to a rollerball. But it is a very smooth writing rollerball, and a lot of people do like that one. To actuate it, you just twist the top tornado style, and, uh, and away you go. So there you go. That's the Retro 51 Tornado Fright Night with all of its little cats and spider webs and spooky spooky bats in uh, orange and also in black you can see them sort of there in the negative space that's nice some pumpkins down here there is a very good spider down here in its web another one up here what are you oh, it's another spider there's bright orange spiders all over this john i like it yeah this is cool this is a very cool pen uh, totally worth it. This was 59 bucks. They always cost a little bit more when they have things like glow in the dark or a bunch of colors just because it costs more to produce. So very neat. There you go. Fright night for your frightening night. This nice profolio. And of course, a Twisby go to round it all out and, uh, you know, get us to that free shipping threshold. So uh, let me know. Uh, let me know if you grabbed one of these or if you've got any experience with this Twisby go. Um, let me know what you think about these or what you would keep in this. Hit me down in the comments and I will see y'all in another video soon. Until then, 
Mwah.